Hi Dolly friends, it's me Holly. Welcome to my channel and today I have a little bit different video. Uh, it's been a little while since I posted, traveling, vacation, stuff like that. Uh, anyway, I have some big travel coming up this next week. I am going to be going to the UFDC doll convention up in Bellevue, Washington. My doll club and myself are all going and we're going to be staying uh, in the Washington area, doing all the different fun convention things that are there. I've never ever been to a convention before. There's competitions going on and there's, oh, this is a whole pamphlet full of activities and things. Um, there's sales, floors and rooms and anyway, I'm very excited. But this brings up the question, what doll should I take with me to convention. I need a travel doll. Now, this is my lineup of potentials. Um, and I'm also including this girl. I just ordered her. This is the Junior High Poppy, who's only nine inches. And I'll be unboxing her here in a bit to compare. But first, I'm gonna run down these girls. Now, this is Summer, who you may have seen in uh, one of my shorts. And I, I actually did an unboxing video on her and I've never posted it yet because I just haven't had time this summer to actually get it out there to you. So this is Summer, hi, welcome. So one option is to maybe bring uh, Summer a full-size Blythe, but my problem with that is she's kind of big and she's got a lot of hair and I'm concerned about size. There's gonna be four of us going up in a smaller, like a sedan. So we're gonna have all of our stuff, all of our bags, and also all the stuff we're gonna be bringing home because we're gonna buy stuff. And I'm just concerned that summer is too big. Now the next option, size down, we have my midi girl, Georgia, who is super cute, super petite, uh, and would fit really nicely. But my concern with her is she has really delicate little joints, delicate little uh, hands and everything like that, and also a lot of hair, which I'd braid. And so I'm kind of concerned that she might break. And I would, I would just be so sad if she broke. And uh, so I'm kind of leaning toward not taking my midi. The next option is this girl. This is Bunny. She's a Monst doll. And she's not wearing her stock outfit right now, but she's wearing Monst doll clothes. And she is a very sturdy resin BJD. She's petite in size. I think she would fit well. And I'm very tempted to take her. Her hair is rooted and it's short and put back. So she is definitely a big contender in this selection process. And then my final one, which is the, the most petite and the best size that I would prefer. This is my little Violet. She is an AliExpress BJD. And I just love to have her as a travel doll. But my biggest issue with her is ah, the wig isn't secured on her face or on her head. And I'm afraid that, uh, and I don't really want to secure it. I could put do Velcro, but she would be my first choice really if her wig wasn't loose. Uh, so that is a concern. Um, basically, I whittle it down to, let's put these girls aside, um, to these two and most likely not her. Probably not her. I would just be so sad if something happened to Violet, but we'll maybe set her here as an option. So now it comes down to Bunny and then Poppy junior high size poppy. So I'm going to unbox her and kind of compare her to Bunny and then see which one might work. And I'll also show you the bag. I'm going to be taking a special like sling bag instead. I have a gigantic purse and I'm afraid if I were to take my full size purse, I would have serious back issues by the end of the week. So I'm, I'm bringing a smaller bag that will hold all of the essentials I need for the week, but it also will hold my travel doll. So anyway, Let's get into her and we'll do a comparison. Okay, so here they are, Poppy out of her box next to Bunny. And the size difference, obviously Bunny's a little smaller. Gosh, she's just so cute. And then here we have our junior high Poppy who is also very adorable in her own different way. I mean, <laughs> they're so different from one another. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I would braid her hair. I know it's long right now, but I would braid it in two braids so it would be out of the way. She's got great shoes that are not gonna fall off. 
And she's got, she has two shirts on. Uh, I would probably remove this silky shirt so it wouldn't snag on things. And she has super cute little monarch butterfly bows. And um, the other thing I love about the junior high dolls is they come with their own backpacks, which of course is perfect for convention, going any kind of traveling, having a backpack to put all of your loot in and your necessities. So I could technically put stuff in this. It has room. I, for a second I was afraid it wasn't gonna open like the, the Disney dolls that have backpacks that are faux backpacks. It's so disappointing. But anyway, so there's that. I mean, I could technically let her take the backpack if I really wanted to have a backpack. Oh, I'm so torn now. Well, let me show you the bag that the doll will be riding in. So I got this sling bag. I forget the name of it. It's some number K something or other. Anyway, I put my own little button on there because you gotta make it look cute. And it fits, it can be a backpack or a sling. It has lots of room in it for my program, my wallet, even my water bottle. It has this back pocket here that's super deep. So everything will fit. Um, and I was thinking that the doll I take could possibly ride like here. So something like this. She could kind of ride in there. Um, or if we did Poppy, probably without the shirt again, she, she'd be a little tall. Uh, maybe not. Let's try it. Arm up. And she could do that. Oh, she looks pretty with that turquoise. So I feel like the purchase of Poppy has just made my decision a little more complicated. <laughs> now I don't know who to take. Uh, I suppose it just depends on, I don't know, who, who I most want. I think if it came down to who would I be the most sad about losing or having be broken, I would definitely be more sad if something happened to Bunny. Don't tell Poppy. Uh, because right now she's wearing lots of different pieces from several different outfits and I, it would be hard to restore all of those and it would be expensive. I'd have to change her maybe into something else. And um, price wise, I think she is actually more expensive to replace as opposed to Poppy who, I mean, I, paid, I normally wouldn't pay full price guys. I paid 26 for her and I know she's been cheaper and I, it was a spontaneous thing and I know it's terrible, but um, I can replace her way easier. And I think that is some of the psychology behind getting her as an option. So let me know what you think. Uh, should I go with the cute, quiet, little rustic girl? Or should I go with the cool, trendy, cute, easily replaceable girl? Either of them look adorable with this bag, though I do love that really great contrast of the turquoise with that orange and pink. Oh, I had one other thing I wanted to show you. So at the convention, there's gonna be, there's always like meals you can pay to go to and there'll be a speaker. And when you pay to go to that meal, you'll get a doll for that meal. And I'm gonna be attending, um, a Kathy Cruz one hosted by or led by Rachel Hoffman for those of you who watch her channel. And then there's also the major UFDC dinner on the final night. Well, I found out my dog club said that when you go to a meal, it's customary or polite, though not required to bring a gift to share with all of the people at your table, which is about eight. So I made these. I have two meals I'm going to, so I needed 16 gifts. And these are my little gifts I made, and I'm gonna show you what's in one of them, because if anyone who's watching this who might be there, I don't wanna spoil it for you. But in this particular bag, you open it up. It's a little canvas burlap with a rose print. And inside is, this one has, it's a little kitty in a bed. Isn't that cute? So, one person will be getting this as a little gift for the table. And I have 16 different ones that I will be handing out. So that was kind of fun. 
And that means, I guess, I should get stuff too uh, when I do this. So I don't know, we'll see. Like I said, I've never been, <laughs> this is all new to me. Like a year ago, I didn't even know dog clubs existed and I didn't even know that there were conventions and here I am involved in both. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think about dolls. Should I just glue her head on and take, glue her hair on and take her? Which one should I take? Definitely gonna bring the backpack, maybe. I don't know, I haven't decided. Oh, this opens too, look at that. Oh, how fun. I love that. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Oh, and I'll definitely be sharing footage from a convention. Uh, probably shorts for the week. I'll try to do like a daily report short or a daily short report, I don't know, something like that. And then I'll put together a longer video when I return and recover. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be a long time and I'm excited, but I'll be tired. So look next week for my uh, convention short reports. I'll call them that, Dolly short reports. I don't know. All right, talk to you guys later, bye.